Candy here and I know it's been forever since I've done a video for you guys but I'm back so this video today will be a barn tour that has been long overdue and a lot has changed in my barn so let's get on with the video like always let's start off at our main barn so right here we have a main barn sign and then the welcome sign over here we have a horseshoe like usual some flowers and they're on both sides we have a little watering trough over here then out front is Olivia and she is just leading our mare, Aria, back to the barn. Then on this side, we have a bale of hay with some grooming supplies and this little bucket here. And then we have our wash stall. And in our wash stall right now, we have a barn hand and she is just tacking up one of her horses, Han Solo. As you come around the barn over here, we have our outdoor paddocks and they go all the way down. And these are our run out paddocks slash they're attached to the barn kind of so the horses can go in and out when they want to if these doors are open. And right now we just have our little foal here and this is Raven and her mother's inside right now but she decided to come outside and see the grass and everything and hang out. Then this one's empty right now and then we have Coco and she's just coming out of her stall and she's going into the run out and I'm gonna look at some things around outside. And then this one's empty. Then as you come into our main barn, it is a combination of the brown and white sleighs barn that have four stalls in each of them. And I pushed them together to create an eight stall barn in order to make it look a little bit more longer and bigger. So in our first stall right here, we have Candy and she is just taking a drink out of her watering little like cup here. And we just have these doors here and there's some tack on the sides here. And then in our aisleway, we have Max, our Golden Retriever dog. And then we have Zach, one of our riding instructors. And we have Dr. Pole just checking up on Luna, our one of our lesson ponies. Then we have some more tack. Then we have Sky right here, and he's just looking around and seeing what's going on in the aisleway. Then this stall is empty at the moment in time being. And then in this stall, we have Renesme or Esme, and she's just our Connemara pony, and she is owned by um, one of our girls here. I just don't know where she is at the moment. And then we have some more tack on this side. Then as you go out back, we have Mia and she's just going to be opening Coco's stall probably to get her um, fed and everything. And then we just see Coco out there leading outside. Then we have one of our um, other riding, like ri younger riders here at our barn and she's just getting on um, our goat, Stegosaurus, a carrot. Then we have another groom here and she is just grooming our lesson horse, Batsford, who just seems to be enjoying it. Then we have some more tack and everything on both sides here and then we just have Pegasus in the middle there and she is just being um getting tacked up by one of our lesson riders then we have Chester out back here and he's just looking around and seeing what's going on and then there is Finnick stall or Finn stall and then like I said before that's Batsford and this is our main barn As you come out from our main barn past our wash stall, you get this next paddock area, kind of. And in our run out right now, in this one, we can see Renesme or Esme a little bit better now. And then we just see her lease owner, um, Amy right here, just trying to open the stall door so she can get out into the paddock. Then we have Hannah, and then this is her horse, Loki, and he is just munching on some apples that she's giving him. And then we have Dorte there hanging out with the two of them. Then on this one we have Batsford's run out stall, but he is inside like I said before, and this is empty at the moment in time being. Then we have Finnick or Finn, and he is just running out into his paddock and going to be munching on some grass, I bet. Then as you come over here, you can see our little mini ponies, and these mini ponies are part of our lesson program, and this is Hunter, and then we have Napoleon in the front some mini ponies and you can come to our kind of like driveway and this is my new truck and trailer that I got for Christmas and I absolutely lo love it and I recommend it completely to anybody who ever wants a nice truck and trailer and right now in our truck and trailer we have Angie and she's just leading one of her horses um, Phantom and they're going off to a show and inside the trailer if you can see closely that is Ray and she's the Hanoverian um, mare who's the older one and then outside we have our little 
um, German Shepherd puppy and he just seems to be chilling around the truck and trailer while everything's going on. Then over here we have our driver and he is just getting ready to drive um, Angie to the show and everything. And then in the back of the truck here we have some tack and some blankets and then some pet and carrots. As you come past our truck and trailer, you come over here into our courtyard slash kind of everything going on here place where you also have a lesson barn slash um, retired horse barn also. And we have our riding ring going this way. So starting off right here, we have Odin and he's one of our show horses and he's just being led by Sophia back to his stall. Then right here is Casper and he is just driving the pony cart while Aaron is steering in the back. We have our barn hand and one of our lesson riders just going to put this saddle back. We have our dog Blue, one of our puppies, one of our other dogs back there, and then we have our um, one of our lesson riders and she's just filling up a bucket with water. We have some tack there and then a pitchfork. In this first stall right here we have Lucas and he's our forged stallion. And then in this stall, we have one of our other lesson horses slash retired horses that we don't use as much, and this is Apollo. And we just have a barn hand giving him some treats. Then we have Elena here just sitting on the bench. Then in this stall right here, if you can see them, we have Padme in the back and then Anakin in the front. Then this is Caleb, and he's driving a quick break before going back to work. Then we have Summer, and she's just riding one of our lesson horses, and this is Kira. Going on to our first shelf here, we have this kind of outdoor paddock area slash fields, and we have a small tree there. In this small little um, square paddock right here, we have um, Leia and her full falcon. Then over here, we have Banner, Rumus, and Glenn, and they just all are chilling in their field. You go up a shelf again, we have this other paddock area, which is a little bit different than the bottom one. And here we have our retired horse, Toby, and he's just chilling in his little red blanket there. Then we have uh, one of our barn hands giving Toby some food. Then we have Ricochet right here. And then we have Smokey in the back. And then this is Jack's horse, and this is Avatar. Next shelf, we have our um, drafter horse, and this is my latest custom that I've made, and this is Dalton, and I absolutely love him. Then over here we have Hugo, and he's just being led by Jack down to the barn so they can get a checkup for him by the vet. Then we have Ollivander in the back here. Then we have Asher and Kato in the field. As so you come to this first level right here, this is where I keep all my tack and everything. It's kind of like our tack room slash feed room in a way. So first we have our barn cat right here just chilling out in a basket. Then we have our, one of our younger riders and she seems to be going off to a lesson. We have some tack boxes in the back here. Um, we have Georgie and she's just grabbing one of the saddles off the saddle rack and that's our saddle rack wall. We have a little sign there that says tack room, a saddle like rack and it has a bunch of tack on it. Another one of those with our um, vaulting set on it. Then we have some stairs that lead up to the second level, a little box there. And it might be a little bit hard to see underneath here, but another tack room sign, and then these where we keep all our bridles. And then we just have another barn hand there grabbing a bridle with the saddle. Then as we go up the stairs in a way, we have our loft here. And that's where we mostly keep our blankets and storage and everything like that. And then as you go over here is our feed room. Our feed room sign's there. We have a little table back there with some treats on it, a bucket of apples, and we have a lesson rider grabbing an apple. And then we have our dog, Fly. And then we have our grain bucket here, and then these small buckets for grain in. And we have our other riding instructor, Catherine, and she is just grabbing some grain for one of the horses. My horses do live on a shelf, so as you go up from the tack room bottom shelf, you go up to the middle shelf, and this middle shelf is kind of like a paddock area where we keep our lesson horses slash ponies in a way. And first off here, we have Oliver, and he is my Blue Roan um, custom on the uh, I think it's the agility pony that comes in the small box. Then we have Sarah here who's just leading Oliver back to the field. And then we have Brittany here and they're just chatting. Then this is Sarah's um, lease pony and this is Charlie. Then we have Jedi out in the back here and he's just chilling. Then as you go over to this bigger paddock, we have 
Ellie and she's just looking over the side of the fence here and wondering what's going on. Then we have Rosie and Daisy just running around the paddock and then we have Cookie and then her full dill and they're just chilling in the back. As we go up from this shelf, we go up to my favorite shelf um, out of my barn shelves and this is my newest barn that I've made and you can see more detailed pictures on my Instagram if you wanted to. And then starting off over here, we have a little tack up area slash cross tie kind of thing. Some flowers, two of our western riders, and some hay, a bench there, and then a tree. Then as we come over here, we have our bulletin board, and it just says some things like photos of our horses, some notes, there's a calendar, a show flyer, and then there's a ribbon. There's a little tack box here, and then in the first stall, these all do have sliding doors, which is super cool. We have Nate, and Nate is just checking in with our veterinarian Brenda back there. And Nate is our owner of Stony Brook Stables. Then in the back here, we have Pilot, and Pilot is the we lost horses, and he's just getting a medical checkup by our vet, Brenda. As you come over here, this is our wash stall slash um, cross ties area. And in the wash stall right now, we have Dante, and he is Nate's drafter horse, and Emma is just taking off his blanket and going to groom him for Nate while he's busy with the vet. And in the back there, we have some grooming supplies slash treats and um, some other stuff. As you come over here is our last stall in this barn, and this is Spartan's stall, and he's just peeking out through there, and he's just looking around and seeing what's going on. Then we have our other lesson rider here, and she's just grabbing a lead rope to go catch a horse maybe, and then we have some apples and hay, hay there. When the two shelves are combined together, we get this big kind of like area up here, and that is where we keep our marigolds mostly and our show horses in that barn. So starting off here, we have Button and then her full Alistair, and then we have Ginger and then her full Tucker. Then we have Indy and Freckles, Rose and Avalon, Raya and Rue. Then we have Willow and Nelly. We have Tess and then Maybe, and then we have Nadia, and then Delilah, her full laying down there. Delilah and Nadia here, we have um, our kind of show barn area. Here we have a barn hand, and she's just wheeling some hay to one of the horses. Then we have a banner of the finished flag in the back here, which I thought was super cute to add. In our first stall right here, this is Skywalker, and he is super cute and he's peeking out and seeing if the hay is coming to him. In the next stall here, we have Vader, and he's our other show horse. In the way back there, if you can see him, that is Kylo Ren, or Ren, and he is our wilder show horse that doesn't agree with most things that are going on. Then right here is Tom, and he is just our other barn hand, and he is just cleaning up some debris in the floor. Coming past from the main area and then going down from the shelves, we come to our riding arena. And it's quite a nice size. It's not too big and not too small. And then starting off right here, we have Carol and she is just getting onto her horse, um, Clove, and they are gonna be taking a little ride. We have some jump stands here. And then as you come over here, we have Maddie and then she's riding Roman, which is her horse. And then we have some more jumps back here. Then there's some more jumps over there too. There's a little jump kind of like set up here in a way. And then we have some caveats here and then taking this kind of like small jump right here, we have Christy and she is riding um, one of our horses, Merlin. Coming from the riding arena and then you come around this corner a little bit, we have our Marinful Barn, which is also where we keep some of our lesson horses and everything. So starting off right out front, we just have this small statue that kind of just sits here. It has a sliding door in the front here. And then as you come in, we have Cassidy and she's just um, cleaning up some hay that was left over from a hay bale that probably fell. And then we have our small tack room slash feed room and then we just have a riding, a younger rider here grabbing a lead rope for one of the horses. Then across that we have in our first stall, we have Pandora and her full Liam. Then next to Pandora and Liam, we have our Halflingers, and then this is Honey, and then her full Cody, and then Prim right here. And then across the aisle, there's Lucky, Tuiku, and then Oreo, and these guys are super cute. 
Then in the last stall on this side of the barn, we have Paisley and then her full Milo, who's just saying hi to Cody. Then across the aisle in the very last stall in this barn, we have Ashes and then her full Stormy. As you come past that area, this is our last barn that we have in my kind of barn tour. And it's the older popsicle stick barn that I just moved onto this side of the room. And I keep mostly almost all the extra horses in here. And then not all my horses are anymore in my barn at the moment in time being. So they're all up on the shelf. I've not gotten rid of anything. I will show them at the end of the video. And that's about it. So let's get on with this last barn area. So right here is um, Ace. And then he's just our Lesson Pony at the barn, and then we have Indian, Prince, Crystal, Dakota, and then Sully in the back here. You can see her. Then we have Severus, then we have Zelda, and then we have Comanche, Admiral, and then Drew. And that's, I guess, it for my barn tour then, guys. So I'm gonna give a quick little bit of an overview of the barn before I get to show you the shelf where I keep all the rest of my horses on. Then, like I said, I would show the shelf where I keep all my extra horses that aren't my barn in, and I keep them all on this little bookshelf here. And I will change them in and out of the barn occasionally, and switch them up a little bit between barn tours and everything, but most of the time they'll probably be here. So this is all of my mares. Then as you go down the shelf, we have all of my stallions and geldings. Then the very last shelf just has all my foals. I hope you guys enjoyed this barn tour and I'm super happy to bring it to you guys. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you really enjoyed this. And comment down below some videos you'd like to see. I am working on episode 3 of Undying Memory and I'm also working on a special project which will be a short film for you guys. And I'm working on a lot more video footage and I'm going to try and get that out as fast as I can. And I just can't wait for you guys to see some things I have planned for the future. And I hope you guys like this. See you till next time. Bye!